thought, Mum. There's stuff everywhere. What's going on here? We're having a spring clean. Oh, good. Then perhaps you can help me find my teapot. I think I left it here last time. All right, Gran. Dennis, you can fill this box with stuff for the charity shop. But it's Saturday. And after that, tidy your room. You two, go on. Oh. There's stuff here I haven't looked at for ages. Magnifying glass, sunglasses, notebook, old brown coat. <laughs> How to crack crimes and solve mysteries. Oh, the mystery is why I bought the book in the first place. How to solve mysteries. Cool. There. Now for a sit down and a nice cup of tea. Oh, yes. Did you find my teapot? Well, you can't miss it. It's bright red. Oh, I think I might have put it in the charity box out the back. What are you up to? Nothing for you to worry about, sweet cheeks. <laughs> oh, where's my teapot? It's a mystery. A mystery, eh? Sounds like a job for Dennis P.I. He what? <laughs> a private investigator. Here to solve the mystery of the missing teapot. <gasps> this afternoon, I'm supposed to be having tea with a gentleman I haven't seen for 36 years. Oh, and I really need this particular teapot. Well, I'd say there's a good chance your teapot has been swiped, snaffled, stolen! <coughs> Do you have anything that might help us pick up the scent? What about this old tea bag? Aha! Perfect! Copper whiff of that natural pal, and she, if you can, sniff out the culprit. Treehouse! <laughs> Who keeps doing that? Right, that's warmed us up. Ready for the Colonel's tea party. <laughs> nice work, Nasha. Looks like the trail might end right here. <laughs> So that's what Nasha was after. Hey, that's my pie. But you can see everything from up here. Pie face, have you seen anyone with a red teapot? What was it like again? You know, like... And red. Oh, yeah. I saw someone with one of those. And what did this person look like? Well, it was a boy with black hair, uh, shorts, and a big smile. That can't be right. You're describing me. Uh, OK. Uh, he had tidy hair uh, and glasses. Oh, and a bow tie. <laughs> I think we found our thief. Tomty, tomty, tom, tom. tra <laughs> Aha! Hand over the teapot, Walter. I have no idea what you're talking about. Come on, I know you've got it. Dennis, hang on. You're going about this all the wrong way. Thank goodness one of you is making sense. <laughs> <gasps> OK, teapot rustler, where's the loot? If you don't tell us, the flower gets it. Right, Nipper? <laughs> Teapot? Loot? I don't understand. Don't play the fool with me. A reliable witness claims to have seen you with my best red teapot. Uh, Gran? Ah, here, boy. <laughs> if it's a teapot you're looking for, Mrs. Creature has a vast collection. Ah! <laughs> <sighs> This is the life. Nice and quiet. A pot of tea and no... Dennis! What are you doing in school on a Saturday? I might ask you the same question. Teaching doesn't recognise weekends. Is that right? 
So what can you teach me about this teapot? That? Oh, it's nothing. Just a teapot. Hmm. Could be a respray job. Whoopsie. No! OK, OK. It's my second best teapot. That's all. Second best? You have more than one? Sure. I've got lots of teapots. Oh. We're not just looking for any teapot. We're looking for... <coughs> one like this. <coughs> this is not my teapot. No, but that's my steak. Why would anyone keep a steak in a teapot? Oh, it was frozen. I put it in there to thaw out. But if you've lost a teapot, try the Colonel. He's having a big tea party. Thanks, Dollface. But you're not out of the frame until we found our teapot. So don't even think about doing a runner and leaving town. I mean, thanks, Mrs. Creature. <laughs> Sorry, you can't come in here. Uh, to Colonel's orders. No, Dennis. Oh, come on. Since when did you take orders from the Colonel? Well, ever since he promised me a slap up tea. Dainty sandwiches cut up all nice, cream slice, lemon drizzle cake, and sticky buns with sprinkles. Oh, no, you don't. But I'm an investigator. We're on the same side. Solving mysteries, busting crooks. Enforcing the law. No, Dennis. That's the law. And, and, and definitely no dogs. <laughs> Good afternoon, Sergeant. Oh, you do look well today. Oh, why? Uh, thank you. I might say the same about you. <laughs> oh, splendid hat, by the way. <laughs> I'll be sure to save a bun or three for you, Sergeant. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, <laughs> one! <laughs> All that dog of yours sniffed out with some sausages. But no teapot. That's right, no teapot. Then we're all out of clues. Nothing else to do but go back and re-examine the crime scene. So, what about your tea date? Oh, I guess I'll just have to keep him waiting for another 36 years. No way! We have to get to the bottom of this. Wait! Look! The teapot! The teapot! No! Hey, what are you doing? Oh, Gran! I'm really sorry. Oh, it's all right, Dennis. You see, it wasn't the teapot I was after. It was what was inside the teapot. <laughs> My best choppers! <laughs> oh, just in time! Here comes my date! <laughs> Hello, sweet cheeks. Oh, I can recognise that smile a mile away. Watch over a beagle. Oh. <laughs> Thanks, Dennis. Oh, you're a brilliant investigator. It's been a blast. It sure has. Sweet cheeks. <laughs> Well, it all started with a missing teapot. Save it for when you've tidied your room, Dennis. Like I asked you to do this morning. Oh, parents. That's one mystery I'll never solve. And never forget, in the wrong hands, there is nothing more dangerous than a canoe. 
except perhaps a brain-eating squid. <laughs> I'll now show you how to make a canoe motor out of a pelican. Mm. This is boring. Yeah, I've had enough lectures. Time to liven things up. <laughs> <laughs> You guys coming? Oh, taking the canoe without asking. Fine. Spend the rest of the day listening to the Colonel. Stop! You are not authorised to pilot that vessel. Yes, you heard how dangerous canoes are. Not to mention brain-eating squids. I reckon one of them got your brain, Walter. See ya. Uh, Mrs Creature! Colonel! Yes. Many a man has been led astray. They're too far away. They can't hear us. Dennis isn't getting away with this. Follow me. Life on the rolling waves. Nothing like it. <laughs> what is it, Nasha? <gasps> I don't believe it. <laughs> Looks like they want to race. <laughs> Walter, what's up? Pull that canoe over. I'm making a neighbourhood watch arrest. The neighbourhood's back on land, twit face. Oh, uh, we may have a problem here. Go back! <laughs> so stupid! I don't think it's been old town. Dennis! Dennis! <gasps> Curly! Oh no, mate! You've been cut in half! No! I'm under here! Pull me out! <laughs> <laughs> to go with a deserted island. Cool. Uh, it's not totally deserted. Quiet! Follow me! Get us down from here! Wow! We heard something, probably you lot, and decided to hide. Sure thing, Walter. Go on, boy. You know what to do. <laughs> I hope you're happy. We're marooned, and it's your fault. You should be thanking me. Thanking you? Dennis Land is the best thing that ever happened to us. What's Dennis Land? The name I just gave me island. Think, no parents, no school, no homework. This is Dennis Land. So whatever I say is law, and whatever you say must be ignored. Huh. We'll see about that. Bertie, Dudley, how would you like to be part of my new island named Walter World. Say yes. Um, um yes. yes. <laughs> Good luck, suckers. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see who the sucker is. I pinched this from Curly when he wasn't looking. Ha! <laughs> Survival of the fittest. Excellent. Let's eat it now. <laughs> no. We need to ration it. Mmm. <laughs> Oh, 
as we speak. What are you doing? I don't know how to drive a canoe. Neither do I. But who needs experience when you have rank? Now row, woman, row! <laughs> Time to have some fun! Their life, not a care in the world. You said it. So, when's dinner? I'm starved. Okay, there's one care in the world. You mean no dinner? No pies? We'll starve! How long have we been in this place? It's only been an hour, pie face. So long! Wait, Curly, what about that chocolate bar you had this morning? Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah, it's here somewhere. Uh, it, oh, it's gone! Somebody stole it! Oh, Walter! He's stolen from the tribe! This means war! <gasps> yes! Almost there! Finished! Oh, excellent! We'll soon be out of here! So, uh, when can we have our clothes back? When we're rescued, which could be days, months, years. <laughs> hey, wait a second. Is that chocolate on your mouth? Uh, no. <gasps> He's eaten practically all of it. <laughs> oh. Stay back. Remember, this is Walter World, which means you can't hurt Walter. There they are. Look, there's the chocolate bar in Walter's hand. He's threatening the chocolate bar. Must save chocolate bar. Hi, <gasps> face. Wait. Guess the war started. Stop. One more sip and I eat it all. <gasps> What's that? Don't worry. I'll save your chocolate bar. under control. I declare this land carnal country. And now we 
we go live to Beano Town Park Racecourse for the afternoon's racing. Hussy! Hussy! There! Yes, B, it's a horsey! <laughs> Why don't you go and play in the garden with your hobby horse? Dennis will help you. Dennis! <laughs> Hursley? And here's Dennis. One shot away from glory. What do you think of that, B? <laughs> and don't bring her back until you've made it up to her and she's calmed down. <laughs> Gran, what's all that crying about then? I could hear you a mile away. I broke Bee's hobby horse and I'm trying to find her a new one. Oh, well, that's all right then, isn't it? Oh, what's all that fuss about it? Poor little Bee. <laughs> oh, she is in a mood. <laughs> that's because nobody's got any. Hobby horses. We've been walking round the shops for hours. And Dad says I can't bring her back until she's calmed down. Dear me, you are in a pickle. What are you going to do? I don't know. Ah! Huh? Hang on. I've been thinking. Uh, riding hobby horses is really for little babies. Baby? Yes. And you're a big girl, aren't you? How would you like to ride on a real horse instead? Real horses? Gran, can you look after B? I've got a plan. We're horsey. Any minute now, love. Dennis is just bringing him. Why do we have to do this? Cos we're mates, Curly. And mates help each other out, right? <laughs> now, remember, you've got to convince her you're a real horse. So no talking or mucking about, OK? OK. <gasps> horsey! Horsey! That's right! Told you I'd get you one. Uh, nay! <laughs> B! No! Horsey! Eat! Joy! <laughs> hey, what you doing letting that child pull up all this grass, eh? And who said you could bring that animal in here? Come on, Parky! Anyone can see it's not a real one. Real horsey! All of you! Out of the park! <coughs> oh, this is a stupid idea, Dennis. What's in it for us, anyway? Come on, Curly. We're making Bee happy. What could be better than that? How about a pie? OK, let's just give her a ride and you can have any pie you want. OK? Now wait here while I go and get her. Oh, oh yum. Pieface, where are we going? OK. Angle of inclination, seven degrees. Wind speed, about three knots south southwesterly. Very good, Father. Stand aside, please. Uh, uh. 
Oh, Father, you must take more care. Horse with him, has he? Okay, I'll uh, I'll keep a sharp lookout. Oi! <laughs> right. before we get into any more trouble. Well, I'll see. <laughs> Hang on a minute, love. I'll just go and see. <laughs> oh, never mind, Dennis. You did your best. But what am I going to do about B? I still can't take her home. <gasps> B! Horses and riders allowed through this entrance. But my little sister's in there. You've got to let me through. You think I'm stupid or something? Now either show me your horse or I'm going to have a word with that policeman. OK, Gran. Let's get the horse. So, here they are, under starter's orders, for the final race of the day, the Beano Town Classic. And they're off, with the favourite moving straight to the front, ridden by... Oh, 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 there seemed to be a change of ride at times. Heavens! I know jockeys are small, but that one's absolutely tiny. Ooh, can't be much bigger than B. <laughs> Wait a minute! That is B! And that's Dennis! Hang on, B! We're coming! Wheelie Grand! Now, there's something very strange going on here because I don't recognise that horse at all. And now there's a police car. What an extraordinary race this is! Faster Grand! And now there's a dog on the track. Yes, <laughs> And as they approach the final fence, their neck and neck gets anybody's race. Come here, B! <laughs> Faster, Grand! Right side. At least B was happy. Even if we did have to sell the car to pay for the damage. I don't know. I don't miss it that much. And think of the money we're saving by not having one. You all right in there, Dennis? Yes. And you, Gran? Yes. Jolly good. Off we go then. Giddy up. Hey, <laughs> I 
like a pile of junk now, but it'll soon be the best BMX course ever. We'll build it right over there. Hang on, what's that? Party don't start till this afternoon. Eh? Whose party? Oh, Athena. I might have guessed. It's my summer party, Dennis. Didn't you get the invitation? Was it in a glittery pink envelope? Like, yes. Lavender scented. Nasher ate it. <sighs> Everyone got one. Uh, I thought it was junk mail. I dropped a pie on mine, and then Nasher ate it too. Well, you were all invited to come and see me mix with A-list supermodels and it girls. And DJ Crazy will be laying down some banging tunes. Yes! It's going to be the Beano Town event of the year! That's tough, because we're building a BMX Assault Course Challenge right here, right now. What? You can't! We can! No! I forbid it! You can't do BMXing near my party! Just you try and stop us! This means war, Dennis! to Athena's party? No a chance, Walter. Oh, phew. Thank goodness. I wouldn't want you lowering the tone. Oh, that hammering is so annoying! Oh, so lovely to be invited to a proper grown-up party. You're very early, Walter. I thought you might need some help to get the party going. <laughs> so, I bought you a CD of Mongolian throat singing. <laughs> Thank you, Walter. Perfect. This'll drown out Dennis. What's that howling? Is someone hurt? Oh. It's not us, Den. What she makes of this. The Din Makers full blast all the way up to 11. <laughs> ha! You can't get rid of us that easily, Athena. <gasps> should be doing this, Athena. Health and safety, you know. Ugh. Who cares? I have a balloon crisis! Get blowing! Oh, wait you are. Oh, 
Oh, I need pie to calm me down. Oh, that's better. How long do we have to stay at this party, Keisha? Until the little hand points to the twelve, I think. We better be the only glamorous, good-looking people there. Oh, that must be it. Hello? Is this the party? Sorry, this is an exclusive event. <laughs> exclusive? That's my middle name. <laughs> This music! Shit boom crash car! You'll have to change it! And we'll need canopies! And some spectacular entertainment! I don't think so. But oh, nobody says no to us! We're a list! list. Like we care! <gasps> this is strictly for BMXs! <laughs> <laughs> Right, class. 
class, before we finish our science lesson, it's homework time. And I want you all to design and make something useful. Pie face, what are you going to make? Uh, a pie making machine? Curly? A boomerang ball. It always comes back. <sighs> Walter? A clockwork tin opener, Mrs. Creature. Oh, I was hoping for something a little more imaginative from you. N no, wait. What I meant to say was... A robot! Yes, a robot to help keep the house and garden tidy. <laughs> Wonderful, Walter. And Dennis, what are you going to make? A robot! And I had the idea first. Never mind who had the idea first, Dennis. You and Walter can both make robots. <laughs> well, we've used up everything in here, Asher, but we're still short of a few vital parts. See my robot. Hey, Denbot! Interesting. What do you think, Walterbot? Sensors indicate 15% rubber bands and paper clips, 85% rubbish. Recycled parts, actually. And anyway, that tin can may look good. But what does it do? I am programmed to execute garden and household chores. From digging to dusting. A dusting robot? Very cool. My robot's programmed for fun. Dembot, build a skateboard ramp. Skateboard ramp. Easy peasy. Wow. That's cool. Denbot rocks. Denbot. Rocks. That is so not cool, Denbot. Look at my car. You can count yourself grounded forever. What was that? Allow me to present Walterbot. This is just the sort of thing he's programmed to deal with. Pause. Finish. Fantastic. Thank you, Walter. And as for you, Dennis, I'll want a word with you when I get back. I'll teach that jumped up rust bucket. Hey, where's he going now? To paint your treehouse. <laughs> This is war! Ready? Steady? Fire! No delays! Must complete task! Emergency! 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 
way! That's Dengot! Oh no! It's a horrible mixture of the two! It's... it's a Walter Dengbot! You mean a Den Walterbot? Hang on, where's it off to? My school is good! School is good! School is good, eh? It takes after you, all right. Come back! There's no school on Saturday! No school on Saturday. Must go to treehouse. Have fun. No, must go to school. Do lessons. School is good. What to stop it? I mean, what if it wrecks the school? Don't worry. I'm on it. Curly, there's a giant two-headed robot headed towards the school. Get pie face and meet me there. And bring your science projects. <laughs> going on, Dan? Yeah. What's all this about a two-headed robot? Robot, pie face. And you'll see in a minute. Curly, get your boomerang balls ready. Pie face, load your pie-making machine. Oh, crumbs. Exactly. Lock and load, boys. <laughs> Me down. They work! They actually work! Oh, a bit too well. We've got him on the run, Dan. Don't be too sure. My part of the bot is fitted with the latest laser systems. Must go to school. <gasps> oh, it's locked. There's only one way out of here. And guess what's blocking it? Your stupid robot. My robot? Your robot started it? No, it didn't. Your robot painted my treehouse pink. And if it hadn't been for you, we wouldn't be... Hang on. That's it. What's it? Look how we're arguing. All we've got to do is to get the bot to do the same. Hey, Walter Bot, aren't you late handing in your homework? Must go to classroom, hand in homework. No, go to treehouse, have fun. Yeah, you tell him, Denbot. Classroom. Treehouse. You are a complete suicide. You are a total swap. Ignoramus. Twist. Sons. Boy, that was a close thing. Yeah. Trouble is, that's the end of my homework project. Mine too. And I've got a reputation to think of. Stop moaning, Walter. If we start now, we just might get our robot fixed in time for school. Oh, where are Dennis and Walter? Haven't they brought their projects? No, Mrs Creature. It brought us. I am Denbot. I like school. Have brought Apple for teacher. No, I am Walter Bot. Don't like school. Here, over here. <laughs> oh, oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Ow! Oh, oh nice one. And Dennis weaves past the defender. He shoots. <laughs> We have.
have suspected naughtiness at Beano Town Park. Uh, I'm in the park now. Uh, out. Oh, now where did they go? Aha. And it all hinges on this final penalty kick. He shoots! <laughs> She takes the ball! Oh no! <laughs> do What the dickens is going on, Slipper? Well, it's that Dennis, sir. That child, Dennis? All this is the work of a child? Well, he's no ordinary child, sir. Uh, run me ragged for years, he has. I think it's time you had some help to catch him. A splendid trainee of mine from police college. Smashing fellow. He's sharp, efficient and has legs like tree trunks. Sergeant Slipper, I think it's time I introduced you to Sergeant Boot. Come on, Nasher. Let's skate. Whoa! Wow! What was that? <laughs> Someone's taken the wheels off. <laughs> Who are you? Boot, Sergeant Boot. Oh, good. I think someone's stolen the wheels from a skateboard. I know, I did. Health and safety. Skateboards cause damage to public property. Now, empty your pockets. Oh dear, very dangerous. It's a yo yo, it's just a toy. <laughs> Yo-yos used irresponsibly also cause damage. Danger neutralised. Now, we must examine all your possessions for possible hazards. Good. That's all the dangerous stuff. Though, this dog is an Abyssinian tripound, is it not? Riddled with fleas they are. He'll have the whole town scratching. Better put him in quarantine, just to be safe. Put, 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 Wait! Come back! Nasha! What kept you? Nash is in trouble. We've got to help him. Boot confiscated our wheels. And the seats. And my little silver bell. Never mind that. Come on! <laughs> Wait, Mr Ha Ha. Don't close up yet. We've got to mount a rescue operation to get Nasha back. No children allowed in joke shops. Order of me. Boot, where's my Nasha? Locked up, horrible flea bag. Don't you dare say that about Nasha. On your way, or I'll run you in for aggravated cheek. <coughs> Congratulations, Boot. All these fine arrests. Outstanding. No tennis, though. Only a matter of time, sir. As soon as he steps out of line, he's mine. Get out there, Slipper, and if you can't measure up to boot, then that's what I'll be giving you. The boot. Get it? Ah, the boot, Slipper. But I've already got boots, sir. Out! Poor Nash is in a cage. And it sounds like Sergeant Slipper's boss wants to give his job to boot. Well, I'll fix him. Look out! Shall I compare the... Come on now, break it up. We're just reading poems. It's a front for mischief. From now on, no children will be allowed to congregate in groups larger than... one. What about chess club? <laughs> That's harmless enough, surely. Too dangerous? Well, we just sit on chairs. Chairs mean danger. What about drama club? Out of the question. And safety club? Far too dangerous. But it was Sergeant Slipper who set up the safety club. Well, I think it's safe to say Old Slipper will be looking for a new job now I've single-handedly cleaned up Beano Town. Now go. Trouble with Boot, Walter? Yes. He's a rotten spoil sport. Almost makes you miss Slipper, doesn't it? Oh, yes. Such a polite, charming man. <laughs> OK, don't overdo it, Walter. But, yeah, Slipper's all right. And now Boot's after his job. Oh, my. Who's in charge of Beano Town? Yeah, if only old Slipper could show him up, catch a few criminals of his own. Not very likely, though, is it? Maybe he could do with a little bit of help. What do you say? Well, just this once. Thanks, 
for these uh, walkie talkies, Mr. Ha Ha. Fox One, you ready? Uh, Foxy Fox Man One, ready? Now remember, Pie Face, you're trying to get Sergeant Flipper to catch you. Gotcha. <laughs> Oi, stop that! Now, uh, I'm fairly certain that's littering. <laughs> Boy. Fox one, Fox one, hello. Fox two, come in, you ready? Yeah, Fox two ready. Uh, uh, hey, what's this? Uh, vandalism, eh? Yep, on purpose. Oh dear me. Oh, I'm going to have to book you, Curly. Now then, uh, where's my notebook? Um. Sergeant? Ah, no excuses. Oh, ow! Did he get you? Not quite. Vandalise the mare, will you? Into the van. No. Fox 3, come in. Yes, Fox 3. Oh, my. I hear footsteps. Sergeant Slipper's coming! Oh! Sergeant Boots! Oh, Walter. You're a long way from Safety Club, aren't you? A mess. But you still have Fox 4, don't you? Of course! Fox 4! Go! Ow! Oh! Oh! A rogue biker in the high street. All units to the high street. Over. Aha! A proper arrest! <laughs> Arrest you in the name of the law. Oh, Sergeant Slipper, I've met me match. I'll come quietly. No, you don't, Slipper. He's mine. I suppose this is your doing. No, sir. I can explain, sir. I have subdued a dangerous rogue biker, sir. What's this? Oh, I was having some trouble controlling my mobility bike, you see. And a policeman was helping me. <laughs> and then this thug left on board. But, sir, she's a menace, a dangerous criminal. <laughs> she's only a little old lady. Indeed. Looks like you've been working too hard, Boot. Oh, here comes that nice policeman now. Such a kindly, polite gentleman. What happened to the rogue? Thanks for helping me, Grand Slipper. Yes, good lad, Slipper. My apologies, madam, uh, and to you, Dennis. Uh, I leapt to conclusions. Now, see the lady home, Slipper, while I have words with Boot about this great big hole in my police station. Catch you later, Fox Four. <laughs> <laughs> what are you two grinning at, eh? You look like best friends. Friends? Really? You'd hardly expect me to associate with a common lout like him, would you, Sergeant? And I definitely don't play with big wussies like him. No. No, of course you don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too, pal. Good to have you back. I must admit, the place hasn't been quite the same without your hairy friend. <laughs> Although, he still hasn't learned any manners. <laughs> everything back to normal, eh, Walter? Hmm, yes. Everything back to normal. <laughs> 